Beyond the Stream show. Uh, today is a very lazy day. Um, I know I slept in. Next Level hasn't slept, period. Um, mm -hmm. Shrink and Sharon looks very well rested. <laughs> uh, so we do have a guest today, uh, it, and we will introduce her in a second. Um, and just wanted to check on Next Level, make sure he's doing good. Got to make sure he's well fed and has his drink and He's taken care of. How are you doing, Next Level? <laughs> it's funny. I I uh I had I had pizza pouches today, so yeah yeah that's the same face I had right. So I had bought some stuff and I put it. I bought a stand up freezer, so I bought um some some groceries and I asked my son if he ate the other day, and he's like, yeah, I had pizza pouches, and I'm like, what the hell is a pizza pouch? I'm like you mean pizza pockets? And he goes, no no, the box said pizza pouches. So I went over to the freezer. And there were no name pizza pockets that said pizza pouches. And I was like, okay. So I had pizza pouches today. So what was it? What did, what did it look like? They're pizza pockets. They're circle pizza pocket things, but they're they're, they're they can't call them pizza pockets because that's a that's a branded name. Right. So they call them pizza pouches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only in your house you'll find <laughs> The most exotic different types of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever uh, whatever hey, else. I have, I have a shawarma pizza in my in my freezer right now, too. Oh my gosh. Leave, leave the pizzas alone. <laughs> Are you hiding a pizza in that beard? <laughs> uh not today, maybe tonight. Hey, real quick. Um, actually, I, I, I know I know you guys talked about this too on the on on Shrink and Sharon's live show. Um, but I don't know if anybody else, I, I, we haven't done, a, we haven't talked about this on the podcast that you guys pulled a prank. And I mean, you and preppy mama pulled a prank <laughs> on me. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to tell my side of the story. So that way everybody is, is, is caught up with what we're doing. So next level has, I don't even know how long his beard is maybe like eight inches, 10 inches. <laughs> it, it's pretty, it's pretty lengthy. And <laughs> His hair is, I don't know, probably goes down pretty, pretty freaking long, like almost to yeah. my belly button. Yeah, so it's pretty damn long. Well, I guess I'm sitting, so it's longer because I'm sitting, but so I've been trying to get him to, to trim it. Like, no, God, no, God, please, no, 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 and I'm there just hanging out. It was after the Friday live stream. This was this. So we had a, 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 a live stream just recently and he sends me a picture and, and a couple pictures and, and, it, and you know what, actually, <laughs> is it going to be in StreamYard? It's, it's probably going to be in StreamYard, huh? Um, so he sends me a couple pictures. I'm going to, I'm just going to do a quick scroll up here. Um, he sends me a couple pictures and I'm just like, cool. Let me so okay, here it is. <laughs> yeah, I found them. So if, if you're listening, if you are listening to uh and yeah, you're probably gonna if if you're watching us on YouTube, you're gonna see my 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 background of fishes. Um I'm 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 in this I'm in this summer mode right now, so I need tropical weather right now. So that's why you see the the, the screensaver in the back. But this is the picture that he sent me, and you see his beard and you see the scissors. And I was like, wait a minute, there's no way he's about to do this. And then the next picture, it it's it it looks like it's trimmed. It looks <laughs> it looks very well groomed. Like compared to the two. I wonder if I could expand this thing. Ooh, I can. Let me okay. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you are watching this on <laughs> And then we called you. Wow. So it looks legit. <laughs> yep. It looks so legit. And I'm just like, dude. And then he called me and then we we're like cracking up. And then 
the lady was saying, oh, yeah, we're going to do the, you know, his hair also. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, you don't have to cut the whole thing. I'll just trim it. He looks mad right there. Like, I can't believe we're doing this. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. But it looks like, so, okay, if you're, if you're listening, I'm going to describe it as best as possible. <laughs> it, it went from 10 inches to maybe two inches. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, we're, we're, we're good. Um, and we, we, we recorded a, a, a podcast just a few days ago. And I'm looking and, and and we're there, we're talking and everything. I'm acting like nothing happened, like whatever, everything's normal. And then I'm just like, wait a minute, didn't you cut your beard? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Wait, what happened? <laughs> so you want to explain the rest? Because I forgot to tell him it was a joke. <laughs> so the I whole was like, you it, was a it was a joke. I was like, I forgot it was a Friday. We got busy, the weekend happened, and then we just started rolling with the week. So <laughs> <laughs> it was almost a week. <laughs> it was legit like six, like five, six days that you thought that I cut my beard. Yeah. And, and then he told me that he just tucked it in. And I'm just like, and, and I, I kept going back to the picture. I'm like, dude, he did have it tucked in. <laughs> wow. Joke's on you. And it's not even April. <laughs> okay. That was a huge intro. That was a huge intro. I'm sorry. But yeah, I had to talk about it. <laughs> so I'm sorry um, you're we, feeling some ways. I <laughs> won't guarantee that's the last time I prank you, but hey. Oh man, he got me good. But anyway, um, I want to introduce uh Shrink and Sharon. She is uh from a group called uh MS7, uh Magnificent Streaming Seven. Um and I want um, I want the people to know who you are. So if you can give us just a background, your upbringing, where you're from, uh, just so that way that people get a good feel of, of who you are. Okay. Um, <clears throat> my name is Shrink and Sharon. Um, I'm from the group MS7, as uh, Raha said, um, which our name is, and for uh, Magnificent Stream is 7 I'm from Ohio. Um. I got into uh, YouTube, um, started off, um, got into streaming um, when I got a fire stick. Um, as most people, got a fire stick and um, got introduced to Jody. And when I got Jody, um, it had, a, um, I was like, hmm, I didn't have a build on there. Well, as it called, a wizard on there, but um, it just had a few add-ons in there. And I wanted to know more about Jody, so I went naturally to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And when I went to YouTube, I saw um, bills on there. I was like, hmm, I could try to do that. And um, I saw a few uh, YouTubers on there, such as Joe Nobody. Um, he was one of the first people I saw on there, Joe Nobody. <laughs> and um, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, dang, I cannot think of his name for nothing. The guy who... Um, I can never think of his name. The guy Hushum. who, Husham, yes. Husham was like the second person I seen, Joe Nobody. And when I saw Husham, I seen a whole bunch of people on there with him, which was, um, with him, I ended up seeing, um, um, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of, uh, um, The Butcher on his show. I saw, um, the metrology probably. Yeah, I seen Dematology, which to me was a sidekick, you know, and, and, and I love me some Dematology. I start watching his videos. I saw Aldrin after that and a whole bunch of uh, school YouTubers after that. And, um, that's when I did my first um, build, learned to do my first build and stuff and just got into streaming. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, so one of my, one of the first people I ran into also was Joe Nobody. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been, for me, I think he's been great. Like the way he intro and in, in, intro, in, like in his intro when he slams on the on the table, and um, it's funny because the butcher and I had that that conversation also because him and me, you know, we always we just crack up on it about it. You know, mm -hmm. you hear the the beer bottles jumping all over the place, mm -hmm. and you know, always talks about the the the, the Cody, and I yeah, it's. I think it's hilarious. I think it's awesome. Um, what were your first, uh, what, what was the first build that you got to play with when you were uh, introduced to the Cody? 
One of the first ones was uh, Titanium and um, Gears of War. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gears of War? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gears of War was a popular one, big time back mm-hmm. then. It was very... There, I, I want to say um, the Gears of War build was the first... So you had your um, your bar in the middle, mm-hmm. and then you had the sections, movies, TV shows, and they would just flip. Mm-hmm. They were the first ones with that bar that they had little icons on the side that went beyond the bar. Yes. And the way they did it, everybody just had a simple bar, and they just changed just the bar. But he went extra and did – he did a lot of stuff with that build that nobody else was doing. And because of that, a lot of people started to – like skin and then mod and then all of a sudden all these different types of builds were coming out but gears of war was definitely one of my my early favorite ones when it first came out yes we wanted to make that easy for uh educational purposes for box sellers mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for sure yes yeah. what were your first uh, target for me what were your first add-ons that you liked in the beginning when you were first like finding it finding this stuff out Oh, um, definitely Bob. Shout out to Bob. Um, mm-hmm. was one of my add-ons. Um, shout out to um, um, I liked it. Um, oh my goodness, there's so many add-ons. Um, yeah, Bob was one of them. Um, yeah, I, I don't want blank now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will go blank now. Um, I want to say Metallica. Uh, metallic metallic's one i like was one of them i liked um and there's so many of them the butcher and them um noobs and nerds noobs and nerds oh i love noobs and nerds was a great one um and um you, you, you know what's funny um i was never really a big uh cody user ever and mm-hmm. we done we did an interview with you know Dimitriology. We've done our interview with Trooper. We've done our interview with um, the Butcher, and we got to learn. Well, at least for me, um, Rojas knows a lot more about you know all the different builds and add-ons and groups and all that stuff than than I do when it comes to that stuff, right? But talking to the Butcher and all these people and and having these conversations, it's like I'm having this conversation with you now, and I can hear you talking about the builds and I can hear, like, mm-hmm. I can see the conversations that we have with the people that were working on them and, and the conversations and interviews of them and their groups and stuff like that. And it's, I find it all pretty interesting now where I can just listen and I can piece everything together as we talk about them. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a, um, 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 I had thought of one earlier, uh, the good fellows, they had um, yeah. some good ones out. Um, man, it was so many people. Um, they had good ones out. Um, I remember when Placenta came out when, um, oh man, it's just so many that came through. Um, Metal Kettle. Um, so many, I was back and forth. Sometimes I would get a build, sometimes I would just use the add ons. Yeah. You know, Machango was another one. She was a very easy, um, to follow when you did the builds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, placenta. There, there's a good, there's a funny story about placenta. Mm-hmm. Um, so do you remember Solis? Yes. I remember Solis very well. I remember. And matter of fact, that's how I ended up on the telegram. Cause he yeah. was the first person I knew who had the telegram group. Mm-hmm. He was the one promoting it saying, screw this crap. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, yeah. But, he would kind of leave, he would leave the community, come back, leave the community, come back. Yeah, multiple times. Um, he uh, so placenta. Um, it came up to as when he had. Oh my gosh, uh, Trident. He had an app called Trident. Um, we had we had one all together with the henchmen, uh, which I, I was in. I was in all of that stuff. Um, and then he had uh, Poseidon. I remember Poseidon. I remember Afterbirth. I remember all of this. Mm-hmm. So all those, when he left, um, he talked to Blamo and said, Hey, you know, we're going to go ahead and pass some of these over. And he's like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take care of some. And then they, you know, he, he re- renamed one to uh, Neptune, Neptune rising. I remember Neptune rising. Um, and then when they did the whole, you know, mod and, and, and Blamo, they're like, Oh, let's, 
call ourselves afterbirth and let's call this <laughs> placenta. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I'm that. here. I'm here in the chats with them. Like when, cause so I'll, I've been working with them for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that when they're saying like, Hey, we're going to do this, this I'm over here. Can't we just call it something else? <laughs> like, <laughs> I know that placenta and afterbirth. I remember that. that so interesting. I remember Navi X. Everybody. Yeah. Navi -X. Navi -X. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it was interesting. I'm just like, man, and, and I'm like, how the hell am I going to put this on my build? Uh, the symbol build way back in the day. Mm -hmm. And how am I going to put this on there? And, uh, and it's just like, oh, yeah, now scraping. And then they'll put some kind of <laughs> something about that whole thing, you know, <laughs> the whole reproductive system. And I'm like, you guys mm -hmm. are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then had, oh man then they named the other one chocolate but i'm not going to say the rest of the name of it yeah. Name yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. that one came after it <laughs> yeah csb we that yeah csb we yeah we just named it that yeah yeah and for, for those of you who are trying to figure it out watch south park you're south park. right and, all right and it's <laughs> chef chef is the one that sung this song and all mm -hmm. i'm going to say is Hey, everybody want to, and that's it. <laughs> Cause after that, it goes way left. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, but yeah, so that, 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 that was pretty cool. Uh, when did you ever switch over to, uh, APKs? Did you ever start playing with APKs or did you stick strong with, uh, Cody? I was back and forth for a while and then I eventually switched over to APKs, but now I'm getting back into Joe Cody. Mm -hmm. Um, and I actually am falling back in love with Cody. So, yeah. um, yes. What were, what, what were some of the first APKs that you were using that you were kind of like, this is kind of cool. Um, what really made me, um, fall for, well, right before I left Cody, um, I was really into Exodus. I was sad when Exodus went down, but, um, um, terrarium for sure. Mm -hmm. Terrarium for sure. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely loved Terrarium when it was out. I think that was a big turning point for a lot of people. And Terrarium was the APK that kind of bridged that gap. Mm -hmm. um, because before Terrarium, the best APKs that were out there were really what I call the Cartoon HD family. Um, mm -hmm. Like your, your, your Megabox, your Cartoon mm -hmm. HD, all that kind of stuff. Yes. They had good sources. They were one-click play. Mm -hmm. But the layout wasn't modern. It wasn't up to the times and it wasn't right. scraping the internet for new sources and new movies and all that stuff. It was whenever, you know, the developer up, the developer updated that stuff, but Terrarium really took the APK game to the next level. I mean, even when cinema HD came out, there was, uh, there was, uh, thanks in the coding to the developer of Terrarium in the cinema HD, uh, coding. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was really, um, it was really ahead of its time, and it, it upped the game for everybody. So I thought it was cool. It, yeah, it, it really did. Terrarium, I would say for sure, would be the one that. There's a couple APKs before. Yes, but I was going to speak the ones before that I was in that I was using, but it really before the game changer was, I was really in the mob drill before the you know other thing came out. Mob drill was a big one that I liked before. They got into the mining or whatever. Um, I did use Showbox before Showbox went down. Everybody used Showbox, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know any, too many people that didn't use Showbox, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I was guilty. Showbox. <laughs> yeah, I was very, I was very anti APKs. Um, uh, very anti APKs. I was very anti Next Level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. The, the w w we've said it a couple of times in several of our podcasts and there's several people that we've interviewed. Um, I even had one of them call me the devil. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you're so evil. You don't, you didn't want me to playing with APK. So I didn't know any better. So I, I just like Cody mm -hmm. all the time. I'm like, dude, Cody was the bomb, man. Cody it has worked. Everything. Yeah. Everything worked. And it um, still just works. It still works. If you have the right add-ons, like for me, everything that I use is all private stuff. And uh, uh, simple build, it's it's all private now. A lot of the stuff, I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do everything private, just because of how everything was going. Yeah, and it, it works 
amazing. It works great. I have, I have, everybody asks me, what's your go to when you first turn on your TV? What's the first thing you open? Cody. Mm -hmm. The very first thing I open, very first thing I use. And, um, I, I like the one thing that got me really close. And, and, and this is where me and next level had our battles respectfully. We never <laughs> made bashing videos on each other. <laughs> um, but I know he was walking on eggshells every time he, we jumped on, on shows together. Um, he didn't want to step on my toes and I was being respectful to not saying anything that would make him mad. So we were just kind of like, you know, dancing around each other <laughs> without holding hands. <laughs> and it was literally terrarium was the one that when I was playing with, I was like, wait, this is actually not that bad. It, it, the layout's really good. Everything is in there. It works nice. So every time I, I, I put devices together, I would say, Hey, check this one out check that one out. Mm -hmm. And I build my, I, I, and this was a joke. Everybody had back in the day, droid admin. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is the dumbest thing. Like you have to download an app to download an app to open the app. I'm like, dude, what? Why? No. <laughs> I was like, look, let's just do this really simple. Everybody kept saying like, I got my file link store. I got my droid admin and see, here's the secret code. So I'm like, here is the secret. Here's the secret superstore without a code. And it would be a link to my website. <laughs> mm -hmm. And on the website, it, and it was literally, you couldn't go to the website and find the APKs. You had to have the bit.ly link that would direct you to a hidden page on the website. So that's why I called it a secret store. And I had all the different APK, all the popular APKs that people were, were, were so hyped about. And it was a one click download. You go to the site, you don't have to download nothing to download. You just go to the site. There it is. Boom. You're done. Just save the site and I'll update it. Um, so me and next level, next level knew I wasn't a fan of droid admin or file link or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So we would jump on each other's shows and it was like, and, and actually let me rephrase that. We jumped on other people's shows mm -hmm. and, and, and we were cool with each other. We never really, I was always just like, oh, this guy, the file link guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure it was, it was the same. It was like, oh, yeah. here comes. Cody guy, <laughs> Cody guy. <laughs> but but yeah. that's, how, that's how it was it was I was very and 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 one of the guys that I used to work uh together through the little guys um was telling me dude you were like the devil you I like because of you I didn't like next level <laughs> i didn't like file link i didn't like apks i didn't like this but for me it's always change is always like hard for me i'm always like no i don't know if i want to like change to something or adapt to something like if it works it works leave it alone you know well can i ask you this hmm? well how did you feel about well, butcher being a cody person but he was running droid admin i'm like why I'm droid buddy i meant droid buddy yeah, I, I didn't understand it. I didn't the, understand. the runner, the person over Droid, buddy. I didn't understand it. But <laughs> you know, so I I didn't like it at all. I'm just like, whatever. I was kind of like, you know, like when people jump over, I'm just like, why would you do that? Like, I don't get it. But what's <laughs> interesting about that, um, the butcher did a live show just recently mm -hmm. where we talked about TV Zion mm -hmm. and they had no idea what it was. Nothing. They wow. were asking if it was like a an add-on or a build, and I was like, "You've never even heard of it." Wow! And, and, yeah, I seen that Friday. Because yeah. I, I was talking about it, mm -hmm. and then I had to take a step back, and I was like, "Hold on a second, they don't even know what it is. Like, mm -hmm. I can't even explain about the settings <laughs> if they don't know what kind of application it is." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. It's not like TV Zion's brand new. They've been around for a long time, a very long time. Years, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, now, I do want to ask, before you got into the whole streaming, before you got into all that, um, what were you doing before? Were you just full on cable? Were you Netflix, Hulu? Like, like what was your whole, what, what was everything beforehand? Um, I really wasn't 
doing too much. I mean, I was, um, I yeah, I had cable, but I really wasn't big on cable either. I mean, I had like basic cable, but we were trying to get kind of getting away from it because we did always do the Netflix, and I was um. I don't know. I guess for educational purposes, I did do. I didn't know how to do DVDs. I didn't know how to do CDs. You know, like a lot of people did know how to make them. You know, the underground way. Mm -hmm. So I did know how to make my own, create my own content. I think that's how a lot of us started. A lot honest. of people, exactly. And I know how. I mean, I yeah. have blockbuster at my house. There was always that person that had that that library binder, and you'd whip exactly. it out and be like, "What you want?" <laughs> exactly. As a matter of fact, I had uh, um, I had a four or five um, um, DVD um, thing uh -huh. that just spit them out. You know, I can make whatever for whoever. You know. Yeah. So I already know how to do that. You know. I remember the second DVD burner I ever bought mm -hmm. uh, was called a Light Scribe one. And yep. those ones, you could do the picture on top of it. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It wasn't in color. It would just kind of etch the picture on top of the actual DVD. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so cool. <laughs> yes. yes. So yeah. Flex is just one step up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flex is definitely a good, uh, a good place to hold your stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I know uh, back wait you know back when they were doing the whole digital copy thing like here's a digital copy i'm just like why do you i'm like i have a hard copy of this you know i have a physical copy i have a dvd player why do i want a digital copy and then years later here comes plex and here comes this and that and all of a sudden it's like why didn't this stuff all just come out at the same time you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly well um technically it kind of was good that you were able to do that because technically if you didn't want to mess up their original copy, you know, of me having a lot of law enforcement in my family, well, me having a lot of law enforcement in my family, you know, it was called a backup copy because you don't yeah. want to mess up the original. So they're called backups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, for sure. Yes. Now, were you in the law enforcement? No, but I have a lot of law enforcement in my family. Yeah. Yes. Um, were you ever like in the military or anything like that? No. No. Um, mm. So I guess so where what with with technology wise, I know a lot of us have like different backgrounds when it comes to like technology. Um, did you have some kind of love for it like during high school, after high school? Um, is, it, is it something just just recently that you've gotten into? I've, I've always had love for technology um, all the way through school. Um, I've just always had. Love for technology, you know, ever since um, I've been was able to get on the computer. Earlier when you were talking about, you know, um, following like Joe Nobody and all the other YouTubers, would you say that's like, how long ago do you think that was when you when you ran into them? And what what were you, I guess, searching for when you found those YouTubers? Um, originally, I was just learning, wanting to find out how, more about um, Cody. So how did you first find out about it if it wasn't from those YouTubers? Was it from a family member or a friend? Yeah. Um, uh, um, friends was um, telling me about, oh, did you hear about the fire stick? You know, um, a friend of my brothers had told me about it. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I make it so bad, I can't remember the person's name. And it was like, oh, you know, there's this <laughs> thing called um, Cody and um, you don't, uh, you can watch movies and stuff for free. And I was like, for real? You know, I never researched or anything. And it was like, yeah, you can get all the free movies and everything, you know, and um, you just watch everything on that one thing. And I was like, and it was on the fire stick. And I was like, for real? And I was like, yeah, why don't you buy the fire stick? And I was thinking it just automatically come on there. So I was originally going to go to the store. And I'm like, no, no, no. Exactly. So I was thinking, oh, I just go to the store and buy it. And it's like, no, 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 you got to buy it from somebody. So then my brother was like, yeah, I was thinking about doing that. And my brother was like, yeah, but we got a friend that, that owns a barbershop and, um, and he sells them. And we're thinking about getting it one day. I was like, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to be the first. I'm going to just go ahead and get it <laughs> and stuff. And this guy was selling it for like $80. And um, Was this the it, first fire stick? The very, very first like, one? Yes, so the first generation. Around, what, 2015? Yeah, the very first generation. Mm -hmm. and, and make it so bad, the only thing he had on there was Cody. That was it. That's it. And it didn't have a build on there. And he sold it to me for $80. 
did have no APKs on there. Wow. Only Cody. I mean, and, um, you know, when yeah. when you're one of the very few doing something of such a high demand, it's hard to one compare it to something else, and two. It's very easy to justify your price, especially when the knowledge wasn't so accessible, right? So, Correct. but that also probably lit a fire with you saying, "I could do this myself." <laughs> right, right. Well, well, and then another thing, my brother, we had kind of heard about XBMC, my brother and I. Yeah, we were kind of looking at some stuff about it because he had an Xbox, so he had kind of heard it through some forums, through mm-hmm. gaming and stuff. So he was telling me about it, and I was kind of looking on the internet a little bit about the XBMC thing. So, but then what he said, but then he was saying um, XBMC, you know, and then with the Cody, it was just changing over when I heard about it. And um, they were just getting ready to change over from XBMC to Cody. Right. You know, and um, so I said, when I beat the billet and went and got the Fire Stick, the first generation, um, like I said, it didn't even have a bill on there. It just had a few add-ons. And one of the add-ons was the um I forgot the one up I forgot the one at Indigo. Or I forgot Indigo I think it was. And um, like I said, I said I had to look this up because um I know that um my brother has said something, my brother's friend said something about bill. I said, this doesn't look like a bill. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, well, I didn't know what a bill looked like. I said, but I know I gotta come with more than this. And all the thing God told me about, he said, call me if you need anything. He said, but one thing you got to do and make sure you always force stop and you clear your cash. Mm-hmm. He said, every time you go in there, you go out of it. That's one thing he told me to do. So I was like, okay, I know I got to do that and stuff. He was like, call me if you have any, any problems. That very day I went on YouTube, you know, when I went to look up Cody, I saw a bunch of YouTube videos and I started looking at it and that's my ran into Joe nobody. And then mm-hmm. uh, that same night, and that same night, I ran into him, and I turned around and ran into Hushman. And mm-hmm. I learned how to do my first deal. And you got it set up, and you were all good to go from there. You got and the gold installed. From there on, exactly. Mm-hmm. And and you were you were super happy with this first generation Fire Stick. I was. It was hard though. Oh my goodness! <laughs> with the PS File Explorer, and oh my goodness. But you know, it, it's about. crazy. How many people started their streaming journey with a first generation Fire Stick? Yeah. And how much they were able to do with it. Because, you know, we talk about this a lot. Back then, the sources were better, the links were yes. better, right? Yeah. Now it's not as, as easy. Like we have fancier applications, we have fancier devices, mm-hmm. but the sources aren't like they used to be. So it's. And you weren't going through the downloader and you weren't going through. Um... The file link, and you were going through yes, file links for the work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I want to uh, say I paid the other one. Uh, I want to say I paid uh, for my first gen Fire Stick mm-hmm. about 180 bucks. Mm-hmm. 180 you pay way more than me. It's close to 200 bucks. Wow. And well, what else did it have on it? Um, it did have Cody. And that was it. And it had a bunch of it had it had somebody's build in Cody. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were telling the way it was advertised was um, and it's funny. It's a friend of mine that I know since high school. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it was him and his buddy that they were doing it together. So they're splitting profits. And um, he was just like, yeah, dude. Like you could watch everything. So first thing I ask is like, wait a minute. Does it have? I'm just like, I'm going to challenge this. Does it have every single episode of The Simpsons? And he's just like everything. I was like, okay. Does it have a TV show back in the day with Pamela Anderson called VIP? Everything. All right, just give me one. Let me try it out. You know. And it, it 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 was a challenge for sure. But um, back in the day, though, uh, Cody used to work a hell of a lot better. <laughs> a lot of stuff used to work really, really well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it was because a lot of there wasn't that many box sellers. There wasn't many people doing videos and some people were. But um, there wasn't this thing of it's mine. 
don't copy me. Don't everybody was just open to stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but I paid close to 200 bucks for my first gen fire stick and it, <laughs> it had Cody on it. That's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just happy as could be. You're like I yeah. was. Yeah. I'm sorry, Nick. So I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's fine. It's completely okay. Um, I mean, if I would have paid $180 for a first gen fire stick, I probably would have started a YouTube channel and doing all this myself too, a lot sooner. So <laughs> I'll be very upfront and honest. I never bought a device from anybody. Um, I did everything through my laptop. I did everything through my phone. Um, my first Android device that I ever owned was because I joined a Facebook group and I started helping them with their Facebook group. It was a box seller. So I started helping them answer the questions for their customers. They were like, okay, we'll send you an Android box. So I got it and I was like, hey, this is pretty cool. Started working on launchers and you know, all kinds of different things with it. And I didn't really like it. And it wasn't until I really got into Fire Sticks that I kind of got excited about devices. So, and that was the 4K Fire Sticks because where, where I live, they never sold the, the first generation Fire Sticks here. Uh, they sold the second mm -hmm. one and it wasn't really popular. And then the 4K Fire Sticks came out uh yeah yeah they, we didn't have the cubes either i seen people on online forums like kijiji and stuff like that that were selling the amazon cubes first gen for like th over 300 dollars. it was crazy because it couldn't get them in canada <laughs> wow <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> um so how did you i mean when i first started getting active on youtube right we would fall into the same kind of live streams. I would see you in the chats all the time. Um, you know, we would see you over on DST. Mm -hmm. How how was your journey from finding YouTubers like Hashem and Joe Nobody and The Butcher and, and all those people there? Um, how did you get over to the point where you're like, I'm going to play a more active role in the community? I'm going to actually chat in these live streams and I'm going to, you know, um, be more supportive because you were you, as, as long as I've seen you in the chats, you've always been super supportive and super nice. And it's just it's it's always awesome to see you in a live chat room. So how was that 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 journey for you where you actually played a bigger role? Um, I, I don't know how I actually just started off um, saying hi to people. I think I started in. Um, I can't remember exactly whose chat I started off from being. I remember how I kind of got to um, DST's chat. I think I st may have started by way of um, and, by, by Steve. I know I was at Steve's chat first and stuff. And oh, I yeah. seen Superdale over in Steve's chat. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, I ran into um, Superdale. Uh, Steve stuff. Cornelius, right? Steve Cornelius, yeah. yeah through Steve. And stuff, and that's how I, I ran into him. Mm -hmm. And stuff, because I was. Do you want a shield? Um, I didn't end up getting the shield. Well, I started hearing about the shield in the 2015, mm -hmm. but I didn't pull the trigger to the 2017. Shame on me. I know. Because <laughs> I should have one when the 2015 was out. Hmm? Steve's very big on the shield, so. Yes, he was always big on the shield. Yes. So I kept I saying, oh, I need to get, get, oh, get, get, get you to buy one. <laughs> exactly. And he was giving them away because remember, if you get 200 uh, likes, he was giving away shields and everything. Huh. And stuff. So, yeah, Tuesday night, very active in, in, in his chat and stuff. And then I start saying hi and stuff. And then I start going over to um, Dale's um, chat because Dale would come over there and, and he would be uh, picking on Steve, talk his um, son that works at KFC, mm -hmm. <laughs> which you don't really have. Yeah. You know? And um yeah. And then um I start seeing you guys in the chat. And I remember when Rojas came on there would never show his face. <laughs> well, he did, and you got in trouble for showing his face. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Ross that, told that story before. He got in trouble for showing his face because everyone kept talking about his dimples and yeah, his dimples yeah. took over the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. And then I remember when he finally did, it was around his birthday. Oh, it was mm -hmm. actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was. I remember he had uh, what people to guess what his birthday was, what how old he was turning. And um, if they guessed it, he would show his face. 
Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, do you? Um, I always ask this because just just for whatever. Uh, did you run into Rojas or myself first? Usually, people think they ran into me first, but the actuality is Rojas had a different channel name. And a lot of I people. I think I ran me, into you first with your other name, Barack Attack. Yeah, Barack that was my name. I think I ran into you first before I ran into Rojas. But do you know what Rojas's channel name was before he changed it? I forgot. Rojas, so I don't, I'm not sure. Rojas used to be called Cody Tutorials. Mm-hmm. Then I think I ran into Rojas See? first. Then. Every yep, time, right. a lot yep. of people think they find me first, but they actually found Rojas. Yeah, Rojas. Yeah, Rojas. First. Yeah, Rojas first. <laughs> Several Rojas. people have said that because I would, I would talk and mm-hmm. I would show Cody and I would show just the screen, not mm-hmm. my face, nothing. It was right. just, it was, it was literally like, hey, all right, now I'll, I'll, I'll do my intro from way back then. And welcome back today to Cody Tutorials. We are going to be showing you guys a brand new add-on coming out this one is called placenta it has all types of features i'm gonna show you guys how to set it up with real the brid so that's how i that's how i would do it i was very very like soothing calm very just mellow and i would just i would just show the screen and that was it um and a lot of people a lot of people they're just like wait a minute that was you (laughs) yeah 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 Oh that yeah, was, yeah, because yeah. I used to follow you when you were coding tutorials too. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. So yeah. from this point, I guess being more active in the chat, tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about uh how you got to where you are now. Cause I think um I think it's fair to say that Ken and yourself are really leading MS7. I know you guys don't like to be called the leaders of MS7, but um, you guys, you know, you're always active. You're always going on every day. You know, you have your daily live show. Um, what came first, your daily live show or, you know, building up MS7? I would say building up MS7, I guess, yeah. then my daily live show. But, yeah, I don't feel like I'm the leader. I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm I feel like we're all equal in the group. Like Ken always says, we're a round table. No one, yeah. no one's the lead. You know, I, this table is round. I, I I made a joke with uh, <laughs> with Ken, and mm-hmm. I said he has he has a dusty crown. It's always sitting there, and then somebody else puts it on his head for him. So <laughs> he, he actually liked that analogy a lot. Um, mm-hmm. So so I guess tell us a little bit about how MS Seven was formed and kind of. Uh, your involvement with it and your involvement from moving as, you know, somebody that was just, you know, in the chat to somebody that was really trying to um, not just, I guess, absorb knowledge, but try to get back to the community. Um, well, um, hmm. <laughs> that's a good question. Could you repeat that? Sure. <laughs> um. I, um, when I was in the chat, you know, I, I've tried to make a, I tried to make an effort to speak to everyone because you never know how people's days are. Yeah. You know, you could have a really crappy day and you never know. I think what turned around to me really stepping up by speaking and I have to give credit to, um, damn, I can't even think of his name, but he's from DST. Um, Mark, his name Mark? I mean, not Mark. Uh, the one that um, does IPTV circus, that's in uh, DST. He isn't is on as much. Anyway, he did a show on depression and stuff, and he was saying how people's days go and everything. Oh, uh, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah. Uh, show enough? Uh, well, no, not has, show um, enough. Not show double enough. agent. Double agent, yeah. He runs double, double agent. I can't remember yeah, his double name agent. right now. I can't think of his name at the moment, but um, he did a show on depression. And uh, it was more people that were suffering from it than and you really thought watching that show and stuff. And it really made me think that a lot of people said that they come to these streams and stuff because they really have really bad days or they're really going through a lot. And a lot of times they come to streaming to get relief from what they're going through or this makes them get their mind off of what they're what they may be going through in their daily lives and stuff. 
So sometimes just speaking to somebody or saying, you know, happy Monday or whatever you're maybe saying, just speaking to them, you know, they get their mind off of what they were, what they're going through. You know, somebody may have not been spoke to all day. Somebody may have not been thought of, you know, just saying hi and that's personal connection to them. May make get their mind off of something, you know. And then a lot of times when you're on to the platform, and I never noticed till I got started doing my daily chill, you don't see everybody in the chat and stuff. It's hard to see everybody yeah, and say hi to everybody. And sometimes people feel some type of way. And it's not that you purposely are trying not to speak to each and everybody, because it's hard, because I've got emails before, since I've been on my platform or, or messages. Oh, you didn't speak to me today. Well, it's hard, you know, to speak to each and everybody. So I try to be that person even in the chat. Well, hello, such and such. Hello, this person. Hello, that person. Yeah. You know, to say hi to each and every person. No, hello. How was your day? You know. You know, just a little bit of that recognition actually right. can affect people in a big way. Um, I know for myself, I'm, I'm I'll say I'm terrible with connecting mm -hmm. with every single buddy in the chat because I have an issue with, and Rojas will tell you, he'll confirm this. I have an issue with focusing. I can lose focus very, very fast. So if mm -hmm. I'm doing something here with my camera and there's a chat going on over here, if I just glance over at the chat, my focus is gone, I'm done. So mm -hmm. a lot of times when we're talking, we're communicating, we're doing interviews, whatever we're doing, if I veer off, I'm gone, I'm lost. Rojas is like, you weren't even listening to me. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, even when I was on your live show the other day, um, uh, it, it's kind of silly, but my girlfriend and I actually like going back to my anything that I'm doing and rewatching it. And she's like, did you see this comment? Did you see that comment? I'm like, no, I didn't. And she's like, it was on the screen with you. And I'm like, I didn't. I was just talking. I didn't pay attention. So it's kind of nice that 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 we do that. It's kind of silly at the same time to sit back as like a a pastime and watch myself. But there's so much that I miss when I'm when I'm talking, when I'm communicating, when I'm on this live stream. It's so true. And a lot of us, I guess, um, don't see all aspects of it until we are part of all aspects of it. And there's so much appreciation on all sides of the table. Like there's so many people that we see in our live streams every day. And we're like, you know, thank you guys. It's one of the reasons Rojas and I try to do as many giveaways as we do, right? A lot of the people that do all the support in the chat, they are members and they end up winning a lot of the things that we give away, mm -hmm. but it's well-deserved, right? <laughs> right, right. And another thing too is, you know, like we have talked about, you know, we try to, um, you can answer every question that people ask. Mm -hmm. And, you know, another thing I, I, I keep forgetting to mention on my show is if you ask a question and we don't see it, could you please put it in the comments? You know, please point. put it in the comments so that we might not see it during the show, but we can address it during the next show. You right. know, because it's not that we purposely mean to miss your question, but we can't see every possible question. And if one of us say hi, hopefully it's from all of us, you know, if they're saying hi. Like, for example, a Rojas, if you say hi, David Townsend, or hi, Jim Kenny, or whatever and stuff, it's from both of you, you know? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, or hi, everyone in the chat is to everyone because you've made it late. You just, you can't interrupt your show saying hi, such and such, hi, such and such, you know? Mm -hmm. but, but we generally mean it. Right. Because exactly. we love everyone. And that's why I try to make a point of saying, you know, um, I don't feel like I'm smarter than everyone in, in the chat. It's just the difference is that we got up here on the platform and you guys decide to stay in the chat. Because the people in the chat sometimes are just as smart as us, if not even smarter. And we learn just as much from the people you in the chat. You know what? I love how you worded that. Us. I love how you worded that. You said the word decide. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you choose which end you want to be on mm -hmm. it's up to you it's up to whoever's you want to be in the chat be in the chat you want to be on camera be on camera mm -hmm. i love how you worded that um so how did you end up in ms7 what was that transition like mm -hmm. what was the transition from being in the chat to being on camera <laughs> Well, I came to one of ken's shows when he was when he first started ms7 because it was just Ken, Ian, and Giorgio, and I'm not sure had Donald joined yet or not. No, Donald, I don't think I joined yet. 
I think it was just Ken, Ian, and Giorgio at the time. And oh, and Deacon Butler, or Mr. Butler mm-hmm. at the mm-hmm. time. And I was just uh, watching their show. And he asked me uh, what, no, it wasn't on his show. I take that back. I was on DST's show. And he was on the um, on their show, and he asked me to join the team. Mm. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So then you joined MS Seven. What was, I guess, the deciding factor? Like, what was so compelling to move you from the chat to joining a streaming community or streaming group? Um, and then. You said that you, after you joined MS7, you started doing a daily, well, it seems like a daily live show. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it's it's a morning show. It's my mm-hmm. understanding. It's every morning. I don't know if you do it on weekends too, but no. I mean, you have all different kinds of content that you put out on this morning show. I think for at least from, from my perspective, the same kind of positivity that you would try to bring to the chat, you, um, it, it's like you bring even more of it to your live streams every morning. So what was that transition like? Um, Well, originally Ken started doing something like a morning show. And then um, they were back and forth wanting him to go to work, not sure if he was going to go to work. And then when he knew he was going to go to work, he was like, "Um, I like you and Donald to start taking my spot some in the mornings. Can you guys do some in the mornings? And my daughter was still in this, at school because COVID was, um, you know, he just hit and stuff. And I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do every day because um, I was trying to jump off her homeschooling. And um, I was like, I'll try. And I was so nervous at first. I was like, I don't know. I've never, you know, been up here doing it. He was like, oh, just, you know, if you don't have anything to talk about, just let the chat um, lead you. That's what I do. You know, um, think of a topic or, you know, if you, um, you know, in the chat, I kind of pretty much help you out, you know. And um, I was like, oh, OK, you know. So I got up on here and I started off. I was going to do a couple of days. And then Kim was like, oh, I got to go to work. But you try to go every day. And I was like, oh, OK, you know. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much happened. You know, <laughs> the transition. Mm-hmm. For most of us, if not all of us, mm-hmm. to actually start doing these live shows, we go through the same kind of insecurities. We go through the same kind of fears. Um, I was super, super, I guess, insecure when I first started going live stream uh, streaming, right? And mm-hmm. I think that you've really found your place. Like you're comfortable where you are. It doesn't matter what happens in the chat. It doesn't matter how it goes. You can handle yourself. Right. Would you say that's, that's pretty accurate now from like, you know, when you first started doing it to now you're comfortable, you can go live on a fly before you would take a second. You'd be like, I don't know. Should I go live? Shouldn't I go live? But you don't have that, 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 that second thought about it. Now you can just jump on and go. Is that pretty accurate now? Sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, still have those- yeah, sometimes I still feel a little insecure. Yeah. Now, my, my real insecurity is, and I probably got to get better at it, is um, video. I right. feel like it, it's kind of like, um, you know how you leave a message on a machine? Uh-huh, yeah. And stuff. I got to get better at doing videos. I don't think yeah. I'm very insecure at that. Okay. Well, I mean, we can talk about that. But, I mean, if there's anything that you need help with or you ever want to talk about you know Rojas or and I are always around we've been doing a lot of uh, live streams lately about trying to um, get people past those insecurities and just get them out if they want to do videos if they if they want to put out content that kind of stuff so I mean there's a lot of good com- uh, people in the community that will support you no matter what I mean you know from your chats you have a mm-hmm. lot of support in the community so if you need help with anything you can always reach out to, to anybody in the community they would, they, they love the content that you put out. You put out a lot of not just streaming related content, not just um, tech related content, but a lot of positive vibes. And that's what any community needs. So that's, I mean, that's what I've seen so far. I know I don't, uh, I'm not always around chatting. I'm always doing a lot of different things, but as we always say, we're, we're as many places as we can be. And we do pay, we try to pay attention as much as we can. Yes. <laughs> Ross, give me a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness that was great um, so, so the last uh, I guess the last thing I'm gonna 
going to ask of you is if you could give anybody advice um, to, I guess, start something or do what you do, what would you tell them? Um, to be yourself, that you can't be nobody else and to be the best you that you can be. Because when, when you try to be somebody else, it shows. So uh, pick up a camera or your computer, even if it's just a phone, and just start and be you. We are now, uh, this is towards the end of the show. Um, we always like to tell our guests, um, if there's anything that you want to tell the people, anything that you want to say, um, if there's a certain way that you'd like to end, end uh, your shows, um, feel free to tell anything to the people um, as they're listening. And um, yeah, go ahead. Take it away. <laughs> I always like to say to thank everyone for coming. Um, um, you didn't have to be here, but you chose to be here. And I appreciate everyone for coming. And if you didn't, press that like, share, subscribe button. And press the bell icon so you get all the notifications if you're watching on YouTube for when Beyond the Stream goes live and friends don't let friends miss Beyond the Stream. Hey, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we really, truly appreciate you coming on here. Um, it's great uh, talking to you and, and learning some stuff. We've, I, I and, you know, I, I can only speak on my self and i'm pretty sure just go like for it, go for it you good you good <laughs> you do you boo boo <laughs> um, <laughs> i think i think we learned a lot of stuff today i think uh with the roku stuff it, it's very enticing to see what what the capabilities are and what you can do um and even just with your background coming in into the streaming community who you, you've learned from and coming into the ms7 um it's, it's great to hear these stories to see how we're all connected in this big this big, big web of, of streaming and tech. Yep. So it's awesome. So I just want to thank you. Um, yeah. I just want to thank you <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. We, mm -hmm. we, we never want to forget our own kind of journey. And I think that a lot of us share the same journey, no matter where you come from, how big or small you are on YouTube um, or whatever platform you're creating on and we love connecting with people and we love helping people and doing whatever we can with the community. And we don't want to lose that. Right. I know some people will get excited when they see, you know, we've been doing this for a few years and we jump on their panels and whatever it is. But at the end of the day, um, Rojas and myself are, are, are just like you and, and everyone else in MS seven. And we don't see ourselves as anybody different. So just keep up the good work and, and you guys are doing some awesome stuff out there. Um, don't lose track and just, you know, just keep doing you. <laughs> Absolutely. And with all that being said, uh, a couple of things that we say on this channel, uh, you guys take care and you take care of each other and stay humble and be patient. We'll see you guys on the next one.